Hello, it's Ug here. Welcome back to Hammer Ting. It's season three. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you've already done all those things, you're absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. So it's time to start a new mountain. And what we're doing is we're going to begin again. So let's start recruiting some dwarves. We've got five gold. Oh, we've only got one dwarf, but that's fine. That's we haven't even got them into the mountain yet. Look at that. Yep, new beginning. So we've got to check out the check out the lay of the land. Build ourselves a oh first cut is wrong. First cut is in the most incorrect place, baby. Yeah, no. Right, so we're gonna carve out that. We'll worry about what it's like in the new environment later on. I need to build myself a small quarry. That's just not dilly dally. I want to leave a scap over here, over here, possibly over here, because I know that there's going to be like. Um, I know there's going to be like elevators, and I think I might do a double elevator type situation. Last time I built a place, I didn't put multiple elevators in, so I might do that this time. Put multiple elevators in, see what happens. Right, so we'll put a small quarry in. It's our very first goal. We need a small quarry. They are the lifeblood of infrastructure in the dwarven way of life. And dwarf life, dwarf lives are important. Right, let's clean this out. We want to get this ore. If you've never seen Hammer Ting before, and this is your first, oh, hello. This is your first time watching. Uh, I've done a few seasons of Hammer Ting. You are more than welcome to go back and watch them if you want, but you don't need to watch them because uh, I'll be uh, I'll be playing it again. Um, there we go. And I'll be even shinier than I was before. I think if you've seen this before, people would admit it was pretty shiny. Actually, it was pretty awful. But I've got a better idea, and obviously we've got, I know a lot more about the stuff that's being put in now. We, we, we had a new experimental patch drop literally today. I'm filming this on the Thursday, that before the Friday that it's going to be posted. So it's literally the experimental patch just dropped. So in the overworld mission, you've got to do the first one, and there'll be an overworld mission to just get something nice and simple. They want some little granite chunks, and that gives you some stuff, get some gold, some wood, which is important. You need wood f to um, build houses. So let's just graft these chunks. Uh, right, so we want to make sure we've kind of always got like 10 chunks made because we're going to need them. They're a staple of underground life. Hmm. That's good. I like that. That's just an auto craft. You say you go craft recipe. Brilliant. That's a new feature. Quality of life. So as you can see, they will make the, the gubbins, make the gubbins, the little chunks, and then they will be stowed over into the big chest here. See, look, there we go. Stowed in the big chest. And then they will, when they've got 10 of them, they will be ready to hand in. So we'll just... Uh, Cutting this down. A good place to initially go looking, as I always say in this game, a good place to always go looking. You think all the good goodies are downstairs in the in the basement of the mountain. <coughs> what we're gonna start with is copper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a a staircase, or not a staircase, like a copper. What do you call it? One of these things, a scaffold. We're gonna build a scaffold up into the into the copper zone. Obviously, a quarry gives us, once we built one chunk, it gives us access to build all these other things, which we will need. I uh, wanna like craft a few. Oh, I don't know how this interface works. Is that the one it does it? Ah, I don't know. I'm sure we'll work out this interface later on. But it's important, we need we need pillars. <laughs> just build five pillars. Keep it five pillars. We need some of these as well, so we just need to keep it five of these. So Yep. Yeah. And we need some blocks. So we'll just stay up ten blocks. And that should be enough just to start with. And we should get like a couple of these. Um 
this is good for increasing fertility in the farms so we'll like go for five of those so basically you will get a little bit of gubbins filled up in here someone will be working that it's kind of good that means we can do it all the time dwarves have got a thing they love to mine more than they love to do anything else in life I suppose it's kind of like a dwarf's prerogative for anything. <laughs> I like it when the map's so small. It's like, <laughs> we can't look anywhere. Right, so once this is built, we'll go start investigating up here. Obviously, we need to explore the mountain. You get more exploration points for going around. You also get trade points for doing it, handy in trade missions. Um, we will be able to get, we need trade relations to get dwarven houses. That would be one of the first things we go for. We'll go for these two to start with because we do need farming and metallurgy but it's going to take us a little bit more before we can get the trade relationship the trade all we need to actually um, build dwellings because dwarves need dwellings I like the way they over prioritize like digging they love digging I don't need you digging. All right, silly dwarves. Make stuff. <laughs> All right, a couple of you dig then. Come on. I see that. Now I tell you to dig in there. You got so annoying. Oh well, whatevs. Right, let's see if there's any more dwarves to recruit. Oh, we got a few dwarves to recruit now. I think what we need to go for. Is that I always say you go for uh, go for cheap. And there you go. We get another one in. I'm not quite sure what they aren't building. Right, so we've got our first omen of war. These are eventually have to win to keep keep the battle going, really. So what they want is they want copper ingots. So what you need to do is you make copper ingots and you do that at a foundry. So with basic metallurgy, you can make a small foundry, which I've done, which I'm about to do. Um, now, uh, these are just temporary places for these things. No, no, you can build scaffolds over these foundries, so it's fine. Quite know why you aren't building these things. Why are you for granted chunks? Have you not got chunks or are you just being... Ah, oh, you know what's going on. See, the problem is that these granite chunks are reserved for making these things now. So until these things are built, they'll keep building granite chunks for these. They'll build granite chunks reserved for these things and they won't have spare granite chunks for these things. So we'll just up the granite chunk limit a little bit. So we're just waiting for some blocks. Hopefully when he gets his ass in gear, he'll make some granite. Yeah, he'll make this lots of granite and we'll be able to get up, get that thing in place. I know what's going on. We have got like 23 minutes to achieve this. So we should be able to make some copper bars in 23 minutes. Oh, my name's not Ugg. It's not actually Ugg, but you know, it's a saying, isn't it? Right, so at the start, what we're hoping is we don't bump into any like hideously gr his hideous gribbly monsters that are gonna like wipe us out. We do not want to be wiped out by hideous monsters. So they're just gonna build this, and we get our first foundry. Now, fortunately, there's a bunch of coal on the floor. It's nice, isn't it? So first thing we do, we're gonna build some bars. Um, there is no disadvantage to making. Um, there's no disadvantage to making bars. Um, or raw ore is not used for anything. So having tons of copper bars, no disadvantage at all. Killer plant berries. That's nice. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of copper on the floor here. So we can just um, crack it on and do it. Obviously we are reliant on these uh, what are these doors doing? Oh, they're probably hauling this stuff. Someone's slowly building this. That's as far as I'm concerned is the most important thing, really. You can see when it gets a little foot, then they're ready to ready to do it. We 
we sound somewhat lack dwarves at the moment, so that's why we haven't really got much in the way of um, a great deal of crafting and stuff going on. But, you know, hey, first thing's ready for delivery. So obviously we get some trade law and we get some army supplies, which is just food and a, a tiny bit of money. Woo! It's lame. That was our three copper bars, by the way. As you can see, this is slowly starting to get made. We're going to have, probably have someone in here all the time. Uh, we need to start getting these dwarves talented up. Uh, what should we do? Uh, my normal plan is to build out these three, then these three, then that, then that, then that. So, it, um, control and tab to take to the next dwarf with these leveling up. So let's get them all leveled up. And they're all leveled up. Oh, it's so much easier. When I was doing it before, I was doing it for like 50 dwarves. <laughs> all right, let's get another scaffold in here. We're gonna build another couple of scaffolds. Um, and then we'll work out where we're gonna start making the levels. There. So I call them levels because it's a mining term. Not because I'm a miner, but I'm just playing towards. So what we do is we start to dig out these and it gives us, hopefully, quite a bit of ore will be discovered as a result of digging around here. And we just need to place a couple more of those in. There's plenty of food and stuff in there. Although this one is like, why are you so ill? Maybe they were fighting. Probably were fighting. Um, we haven't got any healing items yet or anything like that. So we will uh, have to get that sorted out. Right, so this is obviously ready now, so ready for delivery. And as a result of this, you get like five trade laws. So this is the first one you do to get trade law. And obviously we get lumber. So that gives us, uh, I mean, the main use of lumber at the moment is to build dwarf houses. So let's go get the research for dwarven houses. Well, it's trade relations, but it does give you dwellings. So that's the first tier of dwarf, dwarf stuff built. So. This will give us a dwelling, and a dwelling uh, requires it requires a bit of stuff to make. Oh, hold on, I'll tell you what it does. There you go. Ingots, lumber, granite pillars, and blocks of granite. So what we're going to do is once we've got um, once we've got some of these level hacked out, levels hacked out, we're going to start building our houses up here. That's where I want my I want houses like here and dotted around. I want to do like small groups of houses because last time I made one giant block of houses, isn't it? One, it looked a bit crap, and two, it was a little bit out of the way. But obviously, well, it was a bit difficult because obviously, when the when the um, the dwarves need their greed fulfilled, and their greed basically means they come and take some money out of this chest and they take it back to their house. Uh, you got to watch out for that sort of thing where you miss a bit of scaffolding and they can't climb up. Happens to me quite a lot, <laughs> more often than you think, to be honest. That's good. The um, so you can say uh, build things out of certain things. So I only want like uh, a couple of these things. I don't need them forever. I'll just build five because that's the number of houses I'm going to build. So because we've got five dwarves, five houses for five dwarves. I feel like it. It could be a um. 19, uh, what was it, 1970s musical? <laughs> yeah, that, okay. Seven dwarves for seven houses.
Now they don't excavate the background anymore. But as you can see in the background, there's a bit of a bit of copper in the background there, I think. I can just about see it. See my eye on it. Yep, that's good. So, um, obviously by exploring we get more mountain lore, and by having more mountain lore we can obviously invest a bit more. Now, um, we do want, what does that give us? You see, it gives us, um, I think we need, wow, it's difficult. I mean, it should, all of this stuff should come pretty quick, so I'm not in the, I'm not in a rush. I need to get my, we need to get the houses sorted out, and the house is like, Uh, the house is they're quite big they live in quite big houses do the dwarves and I do want to put a rather large a grand staircase so we've got these nice staircases that we can put in but obviously we can't put them in over scaffolding because they're like more vertical travel so we won't quite put them in yet uh, we might do actually I don't know I'm, the thing about it is I'll leave enough space. How's about that? I'll leave enough space for these. So, actually, I might do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do. Okay, right. So, what we're going to do? We're going to build another. Build another scaffold up here, so we've got a way of getting back up there because otherwise it's going to be a bit stupid. I'm going to try and do things properly in this playthrough. I don't want to cease cutting through this stuff, because this is important to me. This initial sort of like exploration stroke digging, really important. So this is just a temporary stairwell. Come on, make that already. Oh, forget these guys have got really garbage tools to start with. <laughs> Their tools are so bad. They've already nicked some of the money. Look, little thieves. <laughs> right, so the trick now is to deconstruct these. I know some people might say this is madness, but I want to do things nicely this time. I want some nice, nice stairways in there. Right. good experience for the doors as well by the way they get experience at building this stuff so and destroying stuff and just doing things in general so you know we can just level them up oh, give it more it's not too much effort to do it now this person's morale is getting low they need beer well, I'm gonna get beer for a long old time so no 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 beer for you dwarven friend No, we need floors as well. They've got no floors. And we need to keep stocked up on those as well. Forget the, these uh, these granite mines. They do a lot of work to start off with. They, they carry on doing work actually throughout the game. Never ceasing. We 
Oh yeah, that's it. Build that. Oh, you're cutting that out. Okay, that makes sense. Got to have large plans, you see. Right, and then we'll just take this out as well. I need the same down quite quickly. I should have like stopped a little earlier, but it's fine. I do want to build a rather grandiose staircase though. So I'm not used to measuring things in terms of big staircases, so there, there, there is a reason for doing this. So just look at these things. So this first underground quarry. Right, so let's just look at it. Right. So I reckon it's gonna be I'm gonna to have to go three deep. And that's gonna be our next level. Yeah, they're really hungry for beer, but you know, what overworld missions are there? Uh, beams, okay, that's fine. We need more trade resources to get beer. I mean, God, beer is such a beer is all the way. Uh, where is it? It's brewing, so you gotta get like, I gotta get like that and that and that. So I got a lot, long way to go, long way to go before I can just sort out beer for them. Houses will be first. We'll see. Take my time to construct a pretty house, pretty a pretty place, pretty place. Sure, I've got a pretty place. So that's ready for delivery. That gives us like three trade law which is enough to get ourselves cookery and then grains and milling which will require a few more overworld missions uh, what do they need they need lanterns well we're not quite in the position yet where we can build lanterns because we don't have a we don't have a smithy built yet and I, I can't I don't have the technology to actually do that so slightly problematic Quite a bit of a, quite a bit of construction to go. That's fine though. These uh, these things do take a little while. So let's go. So it kind of works out nicely. Three is like the magic number. For building like stairwells, so you know, I feel like I feel like it's it's almost almost destiny. So let's build ourselves a house. Uh, 
a small stone bridge underneath it. Don't want them falling off. And another house. Houses, as you can see, they've got this little weird bit at the top. You see that little weird hat on the top of it? If you just put a small stone bridge on top of it, it's all good. So we've got lumber, we've got ingots, we've got granite slabs, we've got blocks. We should get start getting houses anytime soon. And we need to build a few more. Um, these will just be like this to start with. They will not all be piled up on top of each other. But yeah, for the time being they will. <laughs> Actually, no, I want to cancel that. I want to cancel that. I want to actually build my houses out like this way. Ugh. Cancel all this. I want it's a mess. Cancel. Right. I need to get them like caught up a little bit. We well, did. You're very confused, aren't you? Oh, I'm very confused. I was like digging, and now you're not digging there anymore. So, yeah, you dig there. Go on. Good work. So, I want to level these things up. Uh, I want to level the doors up because. Um, Oh, sweet, no more doors to level up. I'll level the doors up because uh, they get better at doing everything. So that's that's going to be beneficial to us as a, a dwarven organisation, <laughs> which is the most important thing. I suppose that, that makes sense because these these dwellings only require. I think it's like, but that's fine. That's fine. So it. They'll do, they'll do at that height. Could. Alright. So I can put a stone walkway in there. I can put a stone walkway in there. And in there. And then I can build a couple more dwellings on top. I will put six. Because it seems like a fairly good number to be cracking on with. Admittedly, we probably don't have enough wood to do that. No. We're probably limited on the amount of lumber we have. One, two, three. Yeah, no lumber. So, oh, look at that. The lodge. They, These people, what do they want? They want axes. Okay. That's fine. Well, we can't build axes yet, so it's not 100% fine, to be honest. But we will probably need to start doing that. That answers the question, what do we do next? We need to get... Oh my God, they want all this. It's over here. Okay, well, we need to. Oh, that's some advanced stuff there. I think I'd much prefer medicine, to be honest. Where's medicine? Yeah, I want medicine before I want that, so. This may look like a bit of a mess. It'll look a lot neater in a bit. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? It's just a mess. I can see that it does look like somewhat of a mess at the moment. And I have got low morale dwarves. But you know what? It's their own fault. 
no sympathy for him. I know we can just delete these. Um, we've got stairs, so they're not having access to multiple stairs. No, keep that. It's just a bit annoying when you get to this scenario. It's like, oh, silly dwarves, why don't you deconstruct it in a proper order? It's like, no. I don't want to talk in sneaky dwarven shortcuts. Not when I went to the effort of actually making some decent quality stairs. Yeah, all right. Well, you'll get a house soon. Gotta make this place look pretty first. And pretty isn't a bit of flying scaffold, to be honest. In front of the uh, the forge, no sorry, it's not. Speed things up a little bit. Here they go. Good, good. I'll take this down. And what's the omen of war when it's home? Hopefully it's something nice and simple. Yes, it is something nice and simple. Good. first thing under proper thing have we got like a foundry no we've already got a foundry right farms cook houses are coming but there's no point in doing that until we get um what do we actually need we need to get blacksmithing so we need 15 so we should go into center dwarf to have a little look look see here to because the further you look the more um more goodies you get See, we're getting like dwarven stuff and also we can find these things which is good because that means like these things occasionally contain wood and so on and so forth so let's get some dwarf to go and have a look down here let's forget about that uh didn't find any wood yet though did find a nice pretty cave though which is nice Right. All the slime. Kill him. Why is it the same dwarf investigating? <laughs> you have to fight at some point, dwarf. Yeah, that's it. You have to fight. Good. Wait for ingots. Uh, yeah, we should have some ingots lying around. Yeah, we got ingots. We just need to shuffle them off to the door. Which is fine. Beginning, there's always a lot of construction to do, it's always going to look a bit of a mess. We do have the materials, we just uh, lack the lack the doors actually getting off their asses and building things. So, here comes the first house.
Yep, it takes them forever to build with these tools. I'm so used to having them like them having good tools, and they build like absolute garbage at the moment. <laughs> Look how slowly they're building. It's like, Argh. I build slow. I think we've actually got any more lumber. Not really. No. Also, we lack money, which is a bit of a problem. Right, so we've got the first dwarf. So this guy, girl, needs a sign in the house. Who else is miserable? All of them. Whatever. Right, level you up. You get a talent. Right. Right, we're going to be limited by the amount of um, the amount of uh, houses we can build until we get access to some more wood. So I'm going to build. One way to search out, we know that like this is all going to be explored at some point. So what you can do is you can build a nice low tunnel. Build a nice low tunnel and we go looking. Quite know where you're going. Mushroom maybe? Yep, mushroom. I mean, they're a bit unhappy because they've got no, um, they've got no uh, money. So, I mean, not that these things are giving me a lot of money, to be honest. Oh, come on, haven't you handed that in yet? Ah, I, I suppose they've got like a little while to do it. We've got like, we got all on the way. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to uh, clear these spaces out above the actual. Um, there's going to be like. Is it? I'm, I'm going to actually, you know, make this place look good for a change. Shocking. I'm actually going to make this place look good this time around. Last time it looked like I don't know, a hobo palace. It looked like pigeons lived here, not dwarves. So we're going to have proper walkways. It'd be good if like walkways increase movement speed or something like that. You know, ah, look at that. I've done that wrong. Already, already doing it wrong. That will do. Right. Right, so we need to go looking for uh, wood. Hopefully they'll get this bit sorted out as well. I don't want to overwhelm them with digging so they don't actually do crafting. Or hauling, more importantly. I'm sure they will get this sorted out eventually. I'm sure someone will like suddenly realise that we've got to do the overworld map. <laughs> worst comes to the worst, I'll cancel everything before it actually um, ticks over. No, we cancel that. We don't need to do that. We don't need coal. I 
I'm sure someone will eventually realise that we need to actually haul a bit of a copper ingot to the entrance. It's like, oh, we should do that really, shouldn't we? Oh, we're not doing it though, because we're dwarves. And we're not incredibly bright. Oh, we do like digging. It's like, stop digging there. No, oh, no, don't you get it. Yay, someone's hauled it. Yay, someone's realised. So, yeah, well done. Clever girl. You a girl? Maybe not. No. Like I say, I'll, I'll kill it before um, I kill all these jobs at the bottom so actually someone does the hauling because at the moment they're being incredibly dumb but I forgot how slow they are before without decent tools shocking well, I think we probably cancel all those tasks yet yeah. I need someone to get on with the uh, the task of, oh mate, you're just going to go and do some more building. Is someone going to haul to the... I've got faith in them. These walls have never let me down. So many impossible orders. Oh, they're all impossible. Knowledge available. What knowledge is available? Oh, well, yeah, okay. Is it blacksmithing? And gone. Yeah, blacksmithing lets us build the small smithy. I'm just going to cancel this. This is silly. All right. It's going to get done. It's just silly at the moment. There we go. The first one. This means that this full Todd skirmish is going to be actually ready for delivery. That gives us a little tiny bit of money. A little bit more reputation. Um, Money. Blocks. I mean, yeah, why not? We'll get money and we'll get blocks. We need the trade rep, so blocks and money or blocks and granite is not awful to trade for. Um, we're not quite ready to build lamps yet. There's no time scales on these either, so they're just happy to do it whenever. What you doing? Just randomly running around. So like, yeah, just random running around. So we got all this stuff is on the way now. Blocks of granite and granite slabs and granite. Yeah, it's all, all granite. Great, great, great granite. Maybe that's how you start off in these things. It's always slightly small. Right, so let's build our first smithy. Smithies are slightly bigger, and that's already built it like this. So. That's why we built three of these things. One, two, three, and then we already put a smithy in at this level. But I do want to put, like, clear this bit out. Actually, I'm going to cancel that smithy. And cancel this layer. Now that any immediate rush to get anything done is, is gone, I want to just cut this out so that we don't have this little bit of ground like sticking out oddly. I 
I'm going to building. I told you I'm going to make it pretty. never got far to go to the the actual sections to make it so there we go and we will build this small foundry where I said I was going to build it Which is a bit of luck, is going to be. Mm, it's going to be here. All right, it's not going to be there. It's going to be slightly different. There. I believe. Hold on. Hold on. It's all gone a bit wrong. <laughs> That's a bit annoying that I can't build it there. I need to dig this little bit out though, because I can't. That little bit of darkness is. That fog of war is stopping me. Irritatingly. Right, they all want money now because we got no money. It's like, calm down, we've only just started. Come on. Yeah, it's gonna take mages to drill that down. At least I've got this done. Gives them a little bit more money to like immediately snaffle away. So yeah, yeah, I'll have all the money. Money. We've got no money. It's like you little buggers. I'm not sure these fancy staircases are faster than the the, the actual um, scaffolds, so I might not. I look short, short advantage again. Oh well, whatever. Keep on running, that's what I say. Keep on running. It is literally taking forever to carve this thing out. It's amazing. It's taking such a long time. <laughs> I suppose this is a lot more um, extravagant than my last efforts. So I want to just that mushroom. It's annoying me. Like, why you gotta be like that mushroom? Why why have you gotta sit there?
least these things are holding up. These uh, crafting options are doing well. All right. Uh, why are you turning around? I like the way you get this far and you kind of go, no, 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 instead of going over here, I'm going to go up here and, and haul. Yeah. Why are you behaving like this, dwarf? Come on, do this bit of digging. This is the bit of digging I actually want you to do. And two of you do it. That's the spirit. Come on. Let me put the foundry in for these good people of the internet. Of the interwebs. See, that wasn't too much effort, was it? Clearly was too much effort. And that's ready for delivery. And that will, uh, didn't actually give me any money, which is irritating. But, you know, what does give you money in this game? I'll tell you what gives you money. Crafting pillars. Right. We can't brew yet because we need grains and milling. Well, we can do that though, and then we can get. Yeah, we're getting there. Once we get this done, we can start building uh, other things. Whilst that's incredibly vague, I'm aware of how vague that is. It will let us. Um, yeah, do other things. And other things are good. Trust me. Good is what we want. Right, so we want another. So that's one foundry, but we don't want that. We don't want to put that there. We want to actually put a foundry there and, ugh, and destroy the old foundry because it's rubbish. It's on the top level. I don't want to put. Um, I want to put storage in here. So storage of stuff. That's what I want to be. I can't quite put it in yet. God, did I put a foundry in there instead of a damn... Oh my god, what a fool. What a fool. I've done it wrong, Og. You want to build a goddamn smithy in there? Why can't I build a smithy? Uh, cancel the cancel. Did I decide to go for... I've got blacksmithing, so why can't I build... Needed for this... Well, do I need, like... Okay, now I should be able to make. Oh, I can make small smithies. I'm losing it. Losing it, folks. Losing it. Oh, I'm absolutely losing the plot. Now I need to tear that down and turn it into, convert it into a, a smithy. It's 
smithy going in there. New foundry. Can't quite go in there yet. We'll do in a second. Almost there. So that's done. Once these uh, blocks are just chiseled out in the corner here, I don't know why I'm putting, <laughs> literally putting it at the screen. I don't know why am I putting it at the screen? This doesn't serve you any good. You can't see over here. Once those bits are done, then um, I will deal with this particular little boggle here. Because as soon as we've got, as soon as we've got this thing built here, we can actually craft some axe heads, which means we can make, um, which we can means we can get lumber, which is what we want. We want these Lakewood lumber mill people because they give us lovely, lovely lumber. So we will get that queued up so we know what we're after. You've leveled up, which is good, and um, we'll give you the next level of stuff. All right. So as soon as this is built, we should be able to um, do that crafting. And then we get wood, which means we'll have enough wood to finish off all this gubbins. Which we solely lack at the moment. So we'll just... Building this up. We got omens of war wise. Well, they probably just want, yeah. Uh, they'll give us a little bit of money and a little bit of so on and so forth. I imagine so on and so forth isn't actually a thing, but you know, I know what I mean. So, right, these people want two woodsman's axes. So, oh, here, so, right, woodsman's axes. So it, caught, it takes a handle and an axe head. So, two axe heads, not 40 axe heads. Two axe heads. I want that. I want, I want that. Two axe heads, two straight handles, and two woodsman's axes. And that's all we need. And these people will get their three or I'd imagine pretty quick because we've probably got enough ore in there. Yeah, cool. They're probably doing it right now. Oh no, they're doing something. Oh no, they're just going to get ore, I think, maybe. Yeah, they're going to get ore. They're going to the furthest place on the planet to go and get ore. It's just fine-ish. We do need a lot of ore. Like all, th like all things, we need all. Um, someone asked me how to do cog drills. I'll, I'll set up a cog drill just as soon as I can, and I find something worth putting a cog drill on. So it might be a little bit while before I find anything that's worth doing it on. Admittedly, all my dwarves are hungry, angry, want beer, but you know what? I can just damn well wait. Right. Good, right. So some ingots are on the way, waiting for a couple of those. I don't feel incredibly pressured because the war, obviously, you know, 13, 10, 
It's pretty chill at the moment. I mean, the war's pretty chill anyway. The war is always chill, which is an ironic thing to say about war, isn't it? It's very relaxing, this war. Very, a, a very chilled war we're having, the dwarves. Check out what do we need for beer now. We need, we got that. Uh, resource required, so we need, we, we can literally do brewing as soon as we, we can do brewing, so which is good. We haven't got any woods with axes yet, but I think they are literally being built as we speak. Yep, they are being built. a little bit of tidying up there which is good I think this guy oh he's delivering that that's good gives us a little bit more money not a massive amount but that's fine but this is the most important bit because then they can at least they won't have to um, we won't have to worry about their greed contend with their greed anymore As you can see, we're just waiting for lumber, lumber, lumber. Here come the axes. All right, so the axe is getting built. We've got a couple of swords. We can give those to people. Why not? It behooves us nothing to keep them about. That's some terrible placement. Psst. There we go. That's a better placement. And that's ready for delivery, which gives us our five wood, which means all of these people, yeah, look, see, wood, wood, wood. Uh, and with a bit of luck, we can plan out where we're going to put our cookhouse and our cave farms. I want a couple of farms. Probably uh, next level down, to be honest. So... Hopefully a bit of luck once this is done yet, the houses get built. I'll get three layers of the first tier for the Dwarven skills. Admittedly, having this automated stuff here has made this so much easier. This is really chilled. Compared to what it beat, beat yet, right? So just assign some doors. And then another one. As soon as the final house is made, we get all the doors housed. And they can stash their ill-gotten gains. And I say ill-gotten, stolen from me gains. Rude, see? Rude. Right, so what we got out in the world for them to do? Um, yeah, that gives them a tiny bit of money. So does so is that. Oh no. Does that? Uh, no. We're getting bacon together. All that bacon together. Uh, Alright, yeah, well. We'll make three lamps. That's fine. We can make lamps. Uh, make three lamps. Okay, cool. Alright.
This guy's nippy, isn't he? It's like, wee. One more house to build. Oh, we got the final house as well. And that is cool. That's not cool though, look at that, that's garbage. What have we done? What have we done? To my beautiful place. Right, well, not my beautiful place to be honest. Actually, if we're gonna do that, we might as well do it properly. Do it there, and we'll just drag it out to there, right. And while we're at it, we'll do it the other way as well, because we're being slightly posher this time. Right. And we're going up here. And we're digging out. No. Nope. We are mining out here. And we're putting this in. There. Right. So we need light over bar. We gotta sort this we gotta sort this beer situation out. I will sort the beer situation out. Very soon. Very soon. Just as soon as we got this in. How much space do we need for a cookhouse and some farms? Farms, they're small. Small and compact, but they'll go under. Right, I'm still going to go three down because it's the way I roll. Are we going to build this already? Waiting for some blocks of granite. I mean, admittedly, they're not very motivated at the moment. They've got a lot of issues. I can't blame them, to be honest. It's, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad condition I've got them labouring under. But, you know, build this anyway. Could this be like a storage level stroke food cave hole level? Yes, it is. All right. So cave farms are going in. Okay, sweet. All right. I just need to take this out, this layer here. And this layer here. They love to dig, so they will do that quite happily. Oh, lamp making, good. All right. A bit more trade, but that's fine. I mean, I expect them to be a bit slow. Okay, so next time, these doors, we finish off this construction up here. The doors get beer. It's going to be great. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe if you got this far. You're awesome. And um, hopefully we'll be back for some more um, Dwarven shenanigans for the next video. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Oh, bye.